Hey everyone, uh, welcome to part 5 for Learning Rhino, and uh, we're going to go over the Boolean functions. Not all of them, just the main ones that I use. So if we type in Boolean, we can see we have a, oh, we did, we have a lot of uh, options here, mainly 5 I guess. Uh, so we look at them, and we're like, okay, what do these really do? And I will show you what they do. So, main ones we're going to go over is difference, split, and union. Um, you can learn the other two, but the, I mainly use those three. I don't, I almost never, I maybe used intersection like once. And Boolean two objects I've never used mm, before that I needed to. Mm -hmm. So, I, you can get away with um, any of these, uh, just these three, in my opinion. So, um, let's get started. So, I'm going to start off with, uh, I don't know why I have this stuff here. So, I'm going to start off with this solid here. So, I want to, this is where Rhino gets interesting, and I really like Rhino for this feature in general. We're going to start with something, the Boolean difference. Now, this is a command that's super, super useful. It's the best action for the quote-unquote carving action, and it's really, really nice for that. So let's start with just the general box. So I'm just going to draw a box kind of somewhere in here. And let's say I want this carved all the way through. Now, yes, we could use the split command. We could do all that other jargon that I taught in the last tutorial. I'm not saying what I taught in the last tutorial wasn't important. What I'm saying is that, yeah, you can do split. You can do all the other stuff I said in the last one, but there are easier ways if they are both solid. So this one is one closed, I know it's closed, one closed poly surface, and this is also a closed poly surface as well. Uh, not, it's really just six planes, which makes an extrusion since we did box. But uh, these, since these two are closed, we have the opportunity to use Boolean. And this is why I love keeping all my objects completely solid. Because you're able to use boolean, the boolean command so freely and not have to really um, worry about errors within modeling. Once you have the model, like once you have the object you have solid, you can start carving away at it. You can really start to manipulate it. Um, yeah, that's really why I like object solid. Uh, you also do most of your manipulating. The reason why I've been uh, releasing the videos as starting with the curves and surface then poly surface. That's how I model. Um, curves is really there to help you guide what the geometry will look like at the end. And surfaces gives you a preview, and then poly surface gives you that kind of actual tactile touch and look to it, like how it should look. Not with all these, uh, these are just render, not render, um, like calculated iso, ISO curves on how the surface is created. But don't worry about that. That's just. Um, the calculating part, it doesn't actually affect the the actual look of it in terms of the final look and rendering and all that other stuff in the object. But anyways, let's get started with the Boolean commands. So we're, first thing we're going to do is Boolean difference. So we're going to start with uh, that. So let's do that uh, Boolean difference. So let's type that in. So with this, I'm going to carve a uh, this shaped hole into this. So we're actually going to do a Boolean difference. And we went over Boolean uh, split in the last command. Um, that one was very useful. As you see, we split it along this. It was very easy. Uh, so now we're going to start with the Boolean. So I want a hole through this object. So it will say um, select surfaces or poly surface to subtract from. I want to subtract from this. And it will say select surfaces or poly surface to subtract with and I know this is my cutting object and I enter and then it'll say boolean difference progress press escape to cancel create meshes press escape to cancel and now we are done so literally it's now created that nice articulation through it now sometimes if it doesn't work and you know if you know both your objects are solid so if it doesn't work all you have to do is turn up the tolerance the absolute tolerance and that should work uh, for this one obviously it worked pretty easily so there wasn't much to do in terms of that so it also isn't limited to just a cube by the way you can also do a sphere 
Uh, so if we type in sphere, we can just make one. It's not very hard. And let's say I want it carved into here. We can also do a Boolean difference. Subtract from and subtract with. And now we, we are left with that kind of articulation of the sphere. So now we went over Boolean difference, and I think it's pretty self-explanatory. It just carves out the function. It carves out the function. No, it carves out what you would want. You can also. It doesn't have to be carving from the actual op, this object. You could carve this object out. Let's say you want it exactly of the curvature of this surface or this uh, poly surface. So we can actually do subtract from this and subtract with this. And it'll actually cut it to that. Um, kind of the morphing of that surface. So yeah, uh, so yeah, that's it for those for boolean difference. So let's get into boolean split. Now that is, we went over that in the last tutorial, and I think that one's really nice to have. Um, so let's try to um, let's go. Let's try to show you guys that. I showed you guys in the last one, but I'm gonna reiterate it because we're really going over in depth in here. So we can reuse the same curve. So now usually you would use a surface with this. And you can do extrude, like we did in the last one. And it goes through the whole thing. Do Boolean, Boolean split. Subtract what do you want to split. What are you going to use to split it? Enter. And it fails. So let's figure out why it failed. So let's do show edges. 21, not in a naked, non manifolded. Okay. Sometimes it fails because the geometry is maybe a little too complex to split. So let's try let's try turning up the units again. If that doesn't work, then we just have to split. Because the Boolean functions are a little funky. Oh, let me make sure that works. Oh well, yeah, never mind. Okay. Let's try it again. And the split failed. So what we have to do is we're gonna have to do the regular split and do that. And use this as a cutting object. Hide this. We can also split along this. Select object to split. Delete this. And we don't need this anymore because we to join. And we can type this in. And now we join the two together. So now we have our articulation again of booleans. So boolean split is this boolean commands are a little funky sometimes. Um, so if you keep both models solid, it that has the highest chance of the boolean command actually boolean boolean commands working. It's not always 100%, but it you can raise the chances by making it all solid. So that's the way I've learned it. Uh, so boolean union is also another one that I want to go over. Uh, boolean split you can also do this with the solids too so let's say we have a box um, and let's do a boolean split here boolean split this one and this one so we did a boolean split and you're like okay it looks like a boolean difference happened what's the difference as you can see it just kind of splits those two together and you can see it's one solid so you have this kind of cake like piece and now they are separate. So now you can really start to detail that area. So now you have this piece and this piece. So I usually use plain difference though, so it's not really a, uh, it doesn't really matter too much. Well, I'm gonna keep that actually. So we now have Boolean difference and we did Boolean split. Now let's go over Boolean union. Now Boolean union is sound, union and sounds what it is, it literally combines two uh, closed poly surfaces together, two objects together, um, very easily. So, let's say I made a mistake and I want these two back together. I would do Boolean union, select surface or poly surface to union, so this one, this one, hit enter, and now it unionized. So, it, you can also use it for other things, like let's say this box. And I'm going to put this down a little bit and here. So I'm going to do a Boolean difference of this one. So subtract from this, subtract with this. And now we can do a Boolean union. 
for now we are good so that's how you use the boolean commands and knowing just the boolean commands already within itself and just the basics is already miles ahead of how you would model this is the way i would model these commands are super useful you don't really need to know that many just to model stuff this is very good already just knowing up to five but i am definitely going to teach more than just the boolean commands i'm going to go over a few more tricks that i use and i for the last part i may go over just a project i did and how i would approach it and uh, actually bring in like an actual architectural project in and just kind of show you how i prep a model to be kind of articulated as architecture so yeah guys um hope you guys enjoyed that video uh thank you guys for watching hope you guys have a great day um and i'll see you guys later